prayer. What oxygen is to the soul, oxygen is to the lungs, prayer is to your soul. You should always, always strive to grow deeper in our prayer life. So three uh, short tips to help us to really grow in our prayer life, which is another way of saying growing in our relationship with God. And the first is to read up on prayer. There are many spiritual classics you can read. I would suggest that you read through the Catechism of the Catholic Church on prayer. The Catechism of the Catholic Church is divided into four parts. The dogmatic part of the Creed, which explains what we say in the Mass on Sunday. I believe in God the Father Almighty. And the second part is the, the part on human acts or morality of the Ten Commandments. Now the third part is on the sacraments, channels of grace. And finally, the last part in the Catechism is on prayer. The importance of prayer to unite ourselves with God, to avoid temptations, to get close to God, to attain interior peace of soul. So read up on prayer. Second is, find a time, specific time, and a place that you can be praying every day. What I'm saying is, man is a creature of habits. We've got many natural habits. Unfortunately, we do not form the most important habit, which is the habit of prayer. No greater habit you can cultivate, attain, and fight for than to have the habit of prayer. And last but not least, when you're starting out your prayer time, beg the Holy Spirit and beg Mary to help you to pray. St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, says this, We do not now know how to pray as we ought, but the Holy Spirit intercedes with ineffable groans so that we can say, Abba, Father. So the Holy Spirit is interior master or teacher of prayer. And also turn to Mary. Mary, who's known as the mystical spouse of the Holy Spirit. Ask Mary to help you to pray. Remember the words of St. Augustine. He who prays well, lives well. He who lives well, dies well. He who dies well, all is well.